In this tutorial, we're going to look at a question from a student in my Spring Boot introduction course. If you'd like to take this course for up to 50% off, please use the coupon code below. And with that, let's get to it. So here's the question. The question was, in a real-world application, we will deploy it to an application server like JBoss. How can the application be wrapped into a WAR file and deployed to the application server? So let's go ahead and cover that. Um, first off, uh, he used the word real world. And I'd just like to say that in a lot of real world scenarios today, we are deploying j uh, jar files. And so don't think that that's uncommon at this point. It's actually becoming a little bit more common. But I understand there are teams that still work on something like JBoss, and we need to be able to deploy a WAR file to it. So what is a WAR? So a WAR is a web application archive, and that is deployed to a server container like Tomcat or Jetty, or to an application server like JBoss. Well, JAR stands for Java Archive, and this is basically going to contain all of your dependencies and the servlet container, and can be run using a uh, standard java-jar command. So these are two different ways of deploying them, but again, I want you to understand that they're both fairly normal and work in the real world. So what we want to do is actually run through a couple of different scenarios. If we're actually creating a new project using the Spring Initializer, we can create a project pretty easily that uses uh, jar or war. So when we go in here and we hit next, all we need to do is change the packaging type to, uh, jar, to war. And that will set everything up that you need it to do. But this isn't always the case, right? We may be taking over projects and we may need to convert them. And so this is also a common scenario. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a jar project and use that empty project to show you how to convert it over to a war. So let's create a jar project. And we'll have a package here. And we'll call this um, war demo. And then we're going to use Maven. Um, there is a slightly different thing that you have to do uh, if you're using Gradle project. But uh, we're just going to look at Maven today. So we're going to hit next. We're just going to create a standard web project here. We're going to call this war demo. And we're going to go ahead and create this project. So here we are. Let's just go ahead and run that up. And so first off, right away, if we look at our project and we look at our palm, you'll see right away that there is a packaging property here and it's set to jar. Now, most people would think you can just change this to war and be done with it, but that's not entirely true. There are a couple things that we need to do. So the first thing that we need to do is in our main application class, so you could do this in the class itself. I like to create a new class, so I'm going to create a new class here called servlet initializer. And this is going to an extended class. This is going to extend Spring Boot Servlet Initializer. That's it. And we're actually going to override something in here. And we're going to override configure. And what we need to do here is we're basically configuring our web application here. When we have it as a jar and everything's uh, Tomcat's all bundled up with it, then we, they know, we know how to do that. But now we don't. So all we're going to do is I want you to return application.sources and we are going to, where we go, whoops, let's call that application and we're going to pass in the name of our main class. So our name, main class is war demo application so we're just going to say war demo application dot class and that should do it so that's step number one is creating our servlet initializer so let's go ahead and close that out 
Now step two is we need to make a change here to our palm, a couple of them. So the first is in our Spring Boot Starter Web, we have a dependency for Tomcat. Now in a war, we're not gonna need that dependency. So we need a way of declaring this as a provided dependency. Now we can't change this particular palm file, but we can make a change to ours. So all we wanna do here is dependency and we're gonna call this our spring boot starter tomcat and we're just gonna add one more thing here called a scope so we're gonna say scope is provided so now with that in place now we can come up here and change this to war and we should be good to go so now what I want to do is actually build this out. Uh, we're going to enable. All right, so I'm going to open up a command line here. And let's just go into boot war demo. And we're going to run Maven, oops. W, so we're just using the Maven wrapper here, and we're just going to run package. And so this is going to go through and do everything it needs to package up our war file. And there we go. So build success, assembling web app. So if we look in our target folder, we should have our war file. So if we go back here and we look in target, there is our war file. So we can go ahead now and take that war, war file and deploy it to our JBoss application server. So with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and end it. Uh, we kind of looked at two ways. If you wanna create a application that is packaged as a war and you're creating a new one, it's very simple to select that as the package type. Uh, if you're trying to convert an existing application, there are just a few things that you need to tweak and you should be good to go. So I hope that helped. Uh, if you did like this video, please subscribe. Give me any comments you got below. I'd love to help you with anything that you're facing as far as your Spring Boot applications. And uh, I will see you in the next one.